Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, Dr. Altaf Khan here again uh, with a new cardiovascular topic. So, uh, today uh, we will discuss how muscles of heart clear that depolarizes action potential develop in them, what are their phases and which are the channel primarily responsible for them. For that purpose, we especially uh, muscles of the heart and main muscle of the heart which are responsible for pumping blood in forward direction are muscles of ventricle. So these are most important. So we will check the graph of muscles of ventricle, how they depolarize and what are the phases clear now muscles of ventricle basically are important for the function of heart these are ventricle now ventricles are contracts with each heartbeat their contraction occurs in each of the muscles called as muscles of ventricular ventricle or ventricular muscles ventricular myocyte these myocytes will contract but they will contract before they are depolarized so first action potential will develop in these ventricular muscle suppose this is a ventricular muscle one myocyte of ventricle in syncytial matter these muscles of ventricle first they will depolarize then they will contract depolarize mean action potential will be developed in that so we will check how many are the phases of action potential which are the channel responsible for them the muscles of ventricle their action potential is different from the skeletal muscle action potential how that is different we will do now we know that action potential means change in membrane potential so that initially inside the any cell like we consider this cardiac myocyte inside the cell the at resting level when this ventricle is not contracting their potential means inside charges if we put electrode in that cells and check at that time polarity that will glow, glow uh, voltmeter will show negative deflection mean there is negative charges inside them inside that cells the polarity at rest is called its membrane potential its value is negative at that time when at rest clear so that potential when these muscles are at rest are called as resting membrane potential if we consider the cardiac cells especially ventricular myocyte ventricular cardiac cells at the rest their resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt when we will put in the graph that will come under the heading of this called as phase 4 I put here minus 90 so minus 90 is the resting membrane potential of cardiac cell when cardiac cell is not contracting at rest quiescent phase clear that this is called resting membrane potential now what will happen when this has to contract before contraction action potential will be developed in that and for development of action potential signal will come definitely in the cardiac muscle signal come from its SA node from SA node electric potential come and depolarize these cells for their depolarization what will happen that these negative charges this negative polarity should be converted to positive charges then this cell will contract now this positivity is due to activity of some channels means inside this cell some positive charges should come inside this cell so that this polarity changes from negative this negative towards positive what are these charges especially membrane of this cardiac cell they contain special channel for main important positive charge that is sodium ion freely available outside these cells in the extracellular fluid so what will happen sodium ion will come will enter in these cells through sodium channels voltage gated sodium channels 
एंड वेन सोडियम चैनल विल कम सोडियम विल कम इन साइड दिस सेल सोडियम मीन्स पॉजिटिव चार्जेस पॉजिटिव चार्जेस विल कम इन साइड दिस सेल इन साइड दिस सेल सो इन साइड दिस सेल द नेगेटिविटी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पॉजिटिविटी सो इफ वी चेक दिस फिनोमिना ऑन द ग्राफ वाट विल हैपन दिस एट रेस्ट इट इज नेगेटिव वैन सोडियम चैनल विल गो इट्स फंक्शन सोडियम आइन विल गो इन साइड दिस नेगेटिविटी विल गो टू वार्ड्स पॉजिटिविटी फ्राम नेगेटिव नाइन्टी टू नेगेटिव सिक्सटी दैन नेगेटिव थर्टी दैन इट विल बिकम जीरो मीन्स टू वार्ड्स पॉजिटिव दैन इट विल गो टू वार्ड्स इन पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन Until and unless more and more sodium channel go through sodium channel, so this graph will go towards positive and its peak level is around plus thirty five. So this phase from negative towards positive, it is called the polarity which was initially negative is changed to positive, means membrane potential is changed. So this phase is called as membrane is depolarized. depolarization phase clear and which are the channel responsible this will occur until and unless sodium channel closes so when sodium channel closes at this peak level this depolarization will end further no positive charge will move inside so movement of sodium inside will cease so the membrane polarity will remains positive up to this point now this is first phase known as phase 4 sorry this is not phase 4 this is phase 0 phase 4 was resting membrane potential this zero is from 92 plus 35 voltage this is its mathematical value now after this see this number 1 labeling what is that see now in number 1 what is happening this positivity is converting into negativity but again line become straight what is this point number 1 at this point what happen basically when sodium channel closes so no positive charge is entry inside at that point another channel known as potassium channels that opens when potassium channel will open potassium is present inside so this potassium means positive charge will try to go outside means positivity is going outside so positivity will decrease start declining so this is the point when positivity starts decreasing point number 1 sodium channel closes potassium channel opens potassium try to go outside at that point positivity again going in the direction of negativity but at that point what happen this straight line what it show it means now for some time phase 0 now first we will discuss phase 1 in phase 1 what happen sodium means channel closes potassium channel opens at phase 1 point now in phase 2 straight line it means no polarity change until this point means positivity remains inside for some time this membrane potential is sustained clear what happen in phase 2 for some time this membrane potential is sustained this phase phase 2 very very important in cardiac muscle very important in cardiac muscle this phase 2 is called a special name known as plechu phase which phase plechu phase or we can say this is a sustained depolarization phase what sustained depolarization so it mean at that point potassium channel were shifting potassium towards outside positive charges are moving outside the cell cell should go in negative direction but still the line remains the same it means 
there is an another ion which is going inside the cell another positive charge is going inside the cell which is balancing the outward movement of potassium so the membrane remains at same level which ion that is that ion is basically responsible for pledge these are another special ion very important for contraction as well as for the development of this plateau these are calcium ions so it means in plateau phase special calcium channel have a role calcium go inside when calcium go inside that balances outward movement of potassium so polarity remains the same up to this point this is known as phase 2 or plateau phase in the ventricular muscle graph clear understand now after that at the end of plateau here plateau ends what happen this potassium this calcium entry when this close is no calcium go inside potassium is going outside what will happen means positive charges potassium will go out 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 positive charges will decline 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 inside the cell inside the cell the membrane potential which was around plus 35 decreases decreases reaches up to zero then reaches in negative direction until and unless reaches its resting level so this is called phase 3 this one membrane potential from positive to negative from peak level to its resting level this is called as phase of repolarization which phase repolarization phase this is called phase which one that was another phase phase 2 or plateau this is called phase 3 in which which channel are responsible for phase 3 uh, at phase 2 calcium are responsible here potassium channel are responsible potassium is moving outside means positive charges are moving outside cell is losing positive charges so positivity decrease 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 until and unless it reaches the resting level when we reaches the resting level again we reaches up to minus 90 so we start for minus 90 here phase 4 then we go depolarize up to the peak phase 0 then phase 1 the sodium channel were closing potassium were opening then phase 2 sustained depolarization known as plateau phase then phase 3 repolarization phase until we reaches that resting level again so these are called as important 1 2 3 4 5 phases of membrane potential clear of the ventricular mass clear ho gaya so uh, we will review that humne kya kaha aaj aapko ke hamara ventricular jo muscle hai uske action potential ka graph humne basically samjha hai usme humne kaha ki ek hum rest ka level dete hain jab ventricle contract nahi kar raha wo usko hum kehte hain rest mein consider karte hain to uska membrane potential bhi rest pe jo hota hai wo minus 90 hota hai usko hum kehte hain phase 4 एक्शन पोटेंशियल का जो रेस्टिंग में पोटेंशियल होता है इसकी वैल्यू माइनस नाइन्टी है ये कहलाता है कि तकरीबन पोटाशियम इक्विलिब्रियम के बराबर होता है पोटाशियम का इक्विलिब्रियम माइनस नाइन्टी फोर है जो उसके करीब है तो ये कहलाता है कि पोटाशियम इक्विलिब्रियम डिसाइड करता है रेस्टिंग में पोटेंशियल फिर कोई स्टूमिलस आता है पॉजिटिव चार्जेज अंदर आते हैं हर जगह जैसे स्केलेटल मसल में डिपोलराइजेशन के लिए जो चैनल था सोडियम यहाँ पर भी जो डिपोलराइजेशन मीन सेल के अंदर जो चार्जेस इंटर होते हैं सोडियम उनकी वजह से रेस्टिंग में नेगेटिव से हमारा पोटेंशियल पॉजिटिव तक जाता है फेज ज़ीरो फेज ज़ीरो को हम क्या कहते हैं डिपोलराइजेशन का फेज है सोडियम चैनल की वजह से तो यहाँ हम लिख भी सकते हैं कि दिस ज़ीरो इज ड्यू टू सोडियम फिर ये पीक तक जाने के बाद सोडियम चैनल जब क्लोज होंगे तो अब मजीद पॉजिटिव चार्जेस अंदर नहीं जा रहे जबकि पोटाशियम चैनल खुल जाएंगे तो पॉजिटिव चार्जेस निकलना स्टार्ट होंगे जब पॉजिटिव चार्जेस निकलना स्टार्ट होंगे हमारी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिविटी की तरफ स्टार्ट हो जाती इस स्टार्ट पॉइंट को फेज वन कहते हैं जैसे ही स्टार्ट होती एक और चैनल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैल्शियम वो ओपन होता है कैल्शियम को अंदर लेके जाता है तो पोटाशियम बाहर जा रहा है कैल्शियम अंदर जा रहा है थोड़ी देर के लिए मेम्ब्रेन की पोलरिटी वही रहती है उसी लेवल पे सस्टेन्ड रहती है कायम रहती है बरकरार रहती 
इसको कहते हैं प्लेच्यू फेज प्लेच्यू फेज तब खत्म होगा जब कैल्शियम चैनल बंद हो जाएंगे पोटाशियम तो बाहर निकल निकलेगा तो उसकी मूवमेंट और ज्यादा हो जाएगी जब पोटाशियम बाहर निकलेगा निकलेगा पॉजिटिव चार्जेस सेल से बाहर जाएंगे नेगेटिविटी बढ़ती जाएगी अनटिल हम रेस्ट तक पहुंचे इसको कहते हैं मेम्ब्रेन वापस अपनी जगह आ गई पॉजिटिविटी सी नेगेटिविटी की तरफ इसको हम कहते हैं रीपोलराइजेशन फेज फेज थ्री ये होता है ड्यू टू पोटाशियम चैनल बट पोटाशियम इज गोइंग नॉट इन साइड गोइंग आउट साइड फ्रॉम दिस सो ये फेजेज हैं किसके वेंट्रिकुलर मसल के एक्शन पोटेंशियल की सो होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड बेटर आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो Oh, thank you so much for today's lecture.